All right, welcome back to another week of performance review. And the purpose of this video is to check over the analytics of last week's videos, compare the viewership, try and try to understand why the views are why they are. Now, let's check them out. First video, um, it's a bit too early to check out, I think, you know, episodes like this. I think the cutoff needs to start around, like, honestly, Monday. So we're not going to cover these videos over here because this is, like, you know, all of yesterday's videos. But I do want to start off with Tensor of Fell Off video, actually. I've been trying to do a lot more content that doesn't rely on Sir Gregor to edit the content so that, you know, I can try to pump out even more content without having to worry about money. And... Tensor fell off apparently, reacting to misery. Let's check it out. Where is that video? Oh, a lot of people are upset about this one. They're not really. If we look at the amount of likes, we got uh, 139 likes here, 10 dislikes. People are mad, but honestly, 93.3% is not that volatile. I think a controversial is when it gets to like, you know, when there's like 10% of people or more hating on the video, but let's check out the analytics. What's going on in this video? People are mad, bro. People are mad. Minus three. Minus three subs on this video. Oh no. My channel's gonna die. My channel's gonna die. And you know what the funniest thing is? The funniest thing is the people, if you go over to my Tensor videos, people literally comment, you are the best Tensor reactor. You are the only person or one of the few that actually give a fuck about the story and tries to understand and have an actual idea of what's going on. I'm not saying this shit. Other people are. They've decided to crown me as the fucking sweaty tensor guy, okay? I'm just trying to give a fuck about the show and give my all to understand the story. But despite doing that, the people on these videos, they say shit like, look, another monkey that can't appreciate the yapping. So what is it? It's a bunch of tourists that's never seen my videos coming into a, a controversial title because obviously we're kind of trying to, you know, activate the fumes of controversy and try to get the videos out. That's why the views are up, right? doesn't matter if these people are unsubscribing. Please unsubscribe more straight up. Like, I don't want, you know, I don't need these subs. Only thing that matters is the views and the watch time. This actually matters, right? People are actually watching the video because it's an interesting topic and people are watching for a long time. These minus three subs means fucking nothing. Trim the fat. None of that shit matters. People just get triggered over things that, you know, they just can't comprehend. Like, I tell them, hey, season three, it's not as exciting as season one and two because of the yapping and the bad animation direction. And people are like, oh, you just don't understand Tensura. It's the best isekai ever. It's like, shut the fuck up, retard. Like, you are so stupid. You got your head up your ass so hard that you can't even recognize how dumb you are. But this video, I think hit. I think it hit. It did really well. It's obviously a topic that a lot of people are interested in. Let's look at the reach. I think most of it from is from browse feature. That's right. Meaning, you know, recommendation system. Not really through the YouTube search engine. And if we look at the audience breakdown, it's like a pretty even split of like, you know, sub to unsubbed. But that's pretty much it for this video. All right. Um, again, I think we need to start the breakdown on... This was uploaded like yesterday or something, right? But, ah, fuck it. Why not? Let's just check out the SAO videos as well. The SAO Season 3 videos are actually pretty average. It's definitely not exceptional, right? SAO, I was hoping, you know, I, I hope that Season 3 would do well. But, and here's the interesting problem with SAO right now. The interesting problem is I started SAO how many months ago? Like straight up, let's 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 look at let's look at this, right? If we go to my channel, you go to the playlist, right? When did SAO even start? Right? Sword Art. Yeah, we gotta scroll down so much. That's how when it, uh, that's how long it started. Sword Online, right? View playlist. When did episode one? Four months ago. And the craziest thing, right? Four months ago. And I'm going to bring up another chart that kind of you know, depicts like what I'm trying to say right now. Let's look at the analytics four months ago and compare what's going on right now, right? If we look at this chart. Four months ago, it's July. So we started this around March, right? So we started SAO sometime around this time around. But... What happens with YouTube is that every month that we grow, you know, is more new people coming in. And the new people coming in did not vote for SAO. 
And now can you realize what the problem is? When we started SA around here, but all this new people and new growth is happening, suddenly I'm forcing people to watch content that they never voted for. Therefore, it's not going to really perform on that level of other really exciting community series. Like Dangers in My Heart is performing better in SAO right now, simply because I asked, it's a more recent poll, right? It's a recent poll with the recent community members that's you know joined in a new audience and they want to watch that shit. SAO, because we started four months ago, even though I try to, you know, poll every time, I just think that a lot of people coming in aren't SAO fans per se. And that's why it's just kind of doing average. It's, it's not doing bad. It's not doing bad at all. It's doing perfectly fine, you know? It's actually doing really well compared to, you know, as long as you, you are in this expected range, right? Typical in this period after one day and four hours, 1,000 to 2,000. You know, 1,800 views, it's in the higher end, right? It's for sure pretty good, but it's just not exceptional. It's fine. It is what it is. Next video. Let's see. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. We were talking about SAO. Let's look at Dangers in My Heart. Posted yesterday. I've been really, really farming Dangers in My Heart hard because we're trying to get to ReZero on time right now. Dangers in My Heart has always exceeded expectations just slightly. That's perfectly fine, right? Views are up 10%. This is good. A lot of watch time too. This is significant. And you can see that the majority of the viewership is obviously coming from browse features, right? Because it's, nobody's actually searching for Dangers in My Heart through the search engine. Excuse me. But it's fine because the bulk of the viewership always come from the recommendation system. Perfectly good. Is there enough data for the audience? Yeah, it's about 50-50 split. <laughs> All males. Bunch of dudes watching this shit, huh? No girls watching Dangers in My Heart. Well, I mean, it is a rom-com from the perspective of, like, guess, for like a male-centric audience, but... You know, it is what it is. It's a power fantasy for guys, right? It's, it's straight up is a power fantasy for guys. Um, let's look at... Uh, again, there's too many fucking videos that I posted. I shouldn't even look at, you know, Osan. Ah, fuck it, why not? Why not? Let's look at Osan. How is Osan doing? I know that this is not really part of like, the last week. This is technically this week's, but whatever. Osan does decent, right? It's definitely hitting the same numbers like SAO, right? It's not doing exceptionally well, but it's in the upper end of the typical expected range. Mostly recommendations, right? No search engine. I wonder how many people are actually giving a fuck about Osan. And also, by the way, this is like a engagement chart. And you can see that the line graph here kind of depicts the performance of how long people were watching this on average, which is pretty decent right now over here. You look at the audience. Yeah, it's 50-50. You know, it's just a classic isekai. It's not an isekai. It's a, it's a native isekai, but it does decent. It does decent. We're not going to drop this. You know, shows like this means that it's hitting the expectations. Now, if it was, you know hitting in the lower ends in this period, then it's like, we got to get the fuck out of there. But Osan, it's doing well enough. We've already talked about dangers in my heart. D you know, dangers in SAO, that's perfectly fine. Let's look at Tio, you know, Tower of God. I know that Tower of God is, again, not part of this week's, but fuck it, why not? Let's look at this. TOG, most recent episode. It was honestly not an exciting episode compared to the previous ones. So it definitely is going to get less views. But even if it gets less views, it doesn't get like 4,000, 5,000. Look at this shit. Still exceeding expectations. Perfectly fine. Right? You look at the reach. Where is it all coming from? Mostly through browse features. Again, remember, there is almost never... Like, look at this shit. Where's the YouTube search engine, man? There is, like, little to no viewership from YouTube search engine because no one actually fucking uses the search to, you know, get the views like that, man. I got 55 views from YouTube search engine. But you don't need to rely on the YouTube search engine. You just need to understand how the recommendation system works and try to understand who your community is and get to it. TOG performs perfectly fine. It does. Next, Wistoria. Wistoria was actually so hype. Wistoria was actually so hype, bro. 4K? Hell yeah. We, now, this is an exceptional one, right? It's beyond the expected range of 2.6K and 1.7K, hitting nearly 4K. Watch time? Phenomenal. I'm so happy that Wistoria is doing well. I was worried when the trailer dropped. Remember when we reacted to that and there was like little to no attention for it? And I was like, shit, could this be one of those cases where because it's not an isekai, people don't give a fuck about it? But no, no, people do care. Let's look at the reach. Or actually, let's go down. And you can, again, you can see more shit like this. It's always so funny when YouTube tells me, try to explain what's going on. And then so what's going on? This video is holding the attention of people who regularly watch your channel. Highly engaging videos are more likely to be recommended to viewers watching similar videos on YouTube Home and Up Next. 
consider checking videos out the intertention, blah, blah, blah. But again, every time YouTube tells me this shit, they always tell me the same shit. It's like, oh, I wonder why the video is doing well. And then YouTube literally just says, well, regular viewers are watching it for a longer time and they're clicking on the video more. So that's why it's doing well, but it's like, no shit. No shit. It's that, I, I, that's what I'm asking. I'm asking why it's doing well. And then you tell me, well, it's doing well because people are clicking and watching on it. But it's like, no, 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 no. Let's take a step back. Why are people clicking and watching it for a longer time? And I think at that point, it's pretty much, it's out of my control, right? It was like an exciting episode. People knew that the episode was hype. There's more attention to it. Therefore, more people are likely to seek that content and click on it, right? <laughs> exactly. It's doing good because it's doing good. But it's like, why, right? And I think the explanation, again, most, most of the times, it's really outside my control, right? I can't control whether or not an episode of a, an anime episode is hype. All I can really do is try my best to give the reaction that it deserves. And beyond that, it's outside my control. And this, you know, episodes like this, it's outside my control, but sometimes we get bailed out. And it's nice like that. But most again, all from, you know, mostly from YouTube's uh, recommendation. 416 from search, but again, it's such an insignificant portion, right? 10.5% of the viewership came from the search, uh, uh, sorry, from the search engine. So you can already see how insignificant trying to utilize the search engine is in terms of the YouTube game. We look at the, you know, the engagement bar. The most exciting part is probably the end of the fight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the fight scene. And then I think it's the reveal, right? It's it's the reveal of how the girl was actually a watcher for the Magia Avenger and the Magia Avenger reveal. It's so funny how like <laughs> the post credit scene. I'm not sure if this is a post credit scene, but like 80% of the episode was like meh. And then the last 10 or 20% was like, oh my god, everyone fucking wants that shit. But it's expected because that's where all the fun was. Now, impressions and question click through rate, blah, blah, blah. Wonder if there's anything else interesting that I can show you here. Engagements and watch time, average view duration. It's pretty good. 10 minute average view duration. Fun fact. Um, it's 10 minutes there. Fun fact. I think that uh, 10 minutes is okay for a duration like this, but like it needs to be higher. It needs to be higher, but that can only come with more community members being like consolidated into the audience and willing to give you a chance to watch it more. And that's the interesting thing as the more viral your videos go, the average watch duration kind of like drops down because like people don't know who you really are and they're just a tourist checking out the most hype section, but true community members were willing to watch the whole thing. So it's like an interesting balance of like, okay, trying to tap into tourist and let it go viral, but also trying to maintain a high average watch duration by, you know, trying to adhere to that audience. Let's look at the audience. No new viewers. And this is, and again, like this shit, I have like no control over, right? Returning viewers is perfectly fine. You need to have returning viewers coming back in. That means that you actually have a community, but 71 new viewers compared to 2000 is like, God damn, bro. It's just like every time new viewers come in, it's usually through really viral opening reactions or trailer reactions, or, you know, those, as I show you the analytics every time, the audience, if we look at the audience chart, look at the new audience tab, right? The the chart is blue. The new viewer is coming from blue. It always spikes, you know, during the three months of, you know, me going through a training arc and YouTube giving me a new audience. And if I can maintain that viewership, then it, it always spikes overnight like this. So again, something that I don't really have control over. Also, fun fact, the reason why the new viewers here is so fucking high in this part of the graph was because during those times, during these times, I was fucking around with YouTube shorts. And YouTube Shorts is a terrible idea to create a community with. It's a bunch of tourists that's coming in for short-form content. They sub to your channel. You post a long video and they don't watch it because they're just not the audience for it. Shorts is like the fastest way to give you padded numbers, but also a way to inflate your sub count to make yourself feel better. But at the end of the day, you know it and I know it that they're not actually regular community members. And it's just a waste of time in my opinion. Shorts are probably better utilized in a separate channel trying to advertise some other shit. But that's why the chart is so high here with the new viewers being so high, but you can clearly tell that none of this shit, you know, amount to do anything until I decided to really focus on the fucking community starting from like over here. Now that was Wistoria. Let's look at next. Um, honestly, the Sylvanas video does this and decent. I've been trying to add in new types of content reactions, not just anime reactions, but anime related stuff. And it's pretty fun. And it's really easy to, you know, it's like limit, no, little to no, it's just laughing the whole time, right? It's pretty fun. The engagement chart is also pretty good. This is pretty decent. And then if you look at the audience tab, I wonder if new people are coming in. Nope. So I try to do different types of content, but the new viewers relative to returning viewers is always so low, but you know, it's fine. 50-50 split. That's all right. 
Next video. Uh, these are more video essay stuff, right? Trailers. I'm actually surprised that these trailers did pretty well, right? This Isekai Yapper one, I think a lot of people are hyped up about it. I think I, I have a good feeling if a trailer this early on for a next season of anime is hitting these kind of numbers. And a lot of people from the comment section were talking about this anime saying like, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is going to be good. Oh yeah, all the light novel readers are hyping it up. This is going to be definitely one of those shows where uh, we're going to be checking out next season. And I hope it does well. I hope it does really well. Uh, impressions, blah, 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 engagements. Let's look at the... Okay, this is interesting. Relatively higher ratio of new viewers coming into returning viewers. And again, trailers and opening reactions is always a surefire way to tap into tourists because it's easy, accessible content, right? People are always down to watch short form content. Why not? And that's why you're always going to have higher ratio of new viewers coming in. I watched your channel because at the time I'm the only English speaking reaction to the Oceanoko Season 2 trailer. There's no way. Are you serious? No way. There's so many Oceanoku so there's Freshest Anime probably covered it. Are because like I think that Oceanoku season two is honestly mid in terms of the hype surrounding it. And what you're saying, if I'm actually the only English speaking, like, damn, Oceanoku fall off that hard? Anyways, we'll be talking Oceanoku a little bit later. Getting back to it. We got the trailer reactions, more, you know, independent, you know, YouTube content. The QA was honestly pretty fucking bad. <laughs> A new experimentation of content, the Q&A. I tried to, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out different shit that I can pump out without having to edit. The, <laughs> the performance is bad. We're definitely going to keep this in a weekly rotation. I'm not going to give up, though. I think that this is perfectly fine. And I'm of, of the people that actually do care about my personal, you know, questions, stuff like that. There is a decent interest, but it's just, you know, can't be posting too many of duds like this. But it's expected. I tried, you know. Next. Uh-oh, Elusive Samurai. Is Elusive Samurai falling off, guys? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If next Elusive Samurai reaction, it performs like this, I'm dropping it. And it makes sense why this video does bad. Because the episode was not fun. Minus one sub. That's how bad the reaction was, bro. That's how bad the episode, the, the anime was. But um, the... What's it called? I don't know. The episode itself was just not compelling. You know? Compared to the past two, obviously, it was not exciting. It's a setup in a slow moment. I totally get it. So I'm willing to overlook this low-performing video. But if next video it does bad, I'm dropping it in a fucking heartbeat. At the end of the day... My audience is telling me they don't give a fuck about Elusive Samurai. You in chat right now, you're quietly watching this, and you know that you didn't watch the video, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. You shouldn't have to pity watch something. You should never have to rely on pity views for organic growth. Nope. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it, and I'll simply adapt around it. But it's sad, man. Elusive Samurai. It might be dropped soon. Next. What do we got? This anime... I don't know how I feel about this, man. It's doing it's doing all right. A lot of people hype this shit up, and I don't see the hype just yet, but it's only again only episode 2. I think that the anime is pretty mid so far. It's not bad. And I think the anime quality is actually above average compared to the other animes, but the plot itself has been pretty mid. They're trying to be very creative and interesting, but I'm just like, mm, is this really good? I really sat down and thought about, you know, this show and I'm like, is this really good? I'm not sure, but you know, if the audience is still watching it, despite it being like a quote unquote, no, it wasn't a boring episode compared to the previous, but it was like set up. Next episode should be pretty hype, but the true colors of this viewership will be shown in a couple episodes. Remember, episode one of any anime series is going to do well. Then as it progresses, people will get filtered out and then the true baseline viewership is shown. If it's, you know, doing average, I'm dropping. I'm not trying to cover average weekly animes, right? Weekly animes needs to be exceptional. And I drop the average ones to replace it with the community series that my audience has voted in. But we'll give it, we'll give it time. Sylvanas video did well. Yo, make heroin? Make heroin? This shit actually is popping off. Like, I didn't think that it would do this well. But people love this shit. And it's only episode two, right? It's only episode two. We gotta still let it cook. You never know when people are gonna drop it. But the momentum since episode 1 into episode 2 was fantastic. 
Most of the viewership, again, comes from the recommendations. Little to no search engine. There's some scenes over here. Obviously, this is the engagement bar. Let's look at the reach. All browse features, again, more recommendation systems. Reddit. Who the fuck is sharing me through Reddit right now? External sites wrap. This is always interesting. Is there a female audience? Let's look at the audience tab. I don't expect 1.1%. I do not expect girls to watch this anime. This is just, again, power fantasy for dudes, bro. To see a bunch of fucking loser girls just fucking flock around to them. Like, nah, dude, these rom-coms are not for target for women, bro. It's just a bunch of dudes. And little to no new viewers, man. It's all just all returning viewers, and that's fine. Remember, when you have a large, you know, returning viewers coming in, that's a good thing. It means that you have a community and you're delivering content that they want to watch. But yeah, too many losing heroines. I'm very glad that I tried it out. It's doing so well. I'm very happy about that. Um, this is just more other YouTube content, other YouTube content. Let's look at Nokotan. Nokutan is actually still holding off pretty well. Damn, bro. Like, each video gets, like, around, like, over, like, 6k. Like, this is fucking fantastic. And oddly enough, this time, on the right-hand side for the last 48 hours, YouTube search engine is dominating. Let's see what's going down here. So if we look at the percentage of the viewership, this time, YouTube search engine actually makes a significant portion of the viewership. And why could that be? Obviously, recommendation system still has the bulk of the viewership. But Nokotan is a series where it's gotten so viral through the opening and trailers that people are actively searching the term on the search engine. And my videos show up because my trailers and my opening has been anchored onto the search engine. As in, anchoring meaning, if we open up an incognito tab and have a completely unbiased YouTube account, a guest profile, and I go search up my dear friend Nokotan, who's gonna show up? I bet I'll show up. Shit, I'm not showing up. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I'm not showing up anymore! I lied. I have... I, wait, what if you do this? Reaction. No, 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 hold up. Re, hold up. Let me cook. Reaction. Let's add that keyword in. I'm not there! I'm washed. I'm washed! Well, I lied. I, I did not anchor anything. I am non-existent, bro. I'm not there at all. But... Even if I'm not there, and in fact, this may even make my point even more clearer. The fact that I'm not anchored onto the search engine, yet I still get more people looking through the search engine, it proves my point that people are actively searching for this series through the search engine. I did not play myself. I, in fact, this example makes my point even more exaggerated. The point was people are searching this content on the search engine. I'm not even shown through the search engine, yet I'm getting views through the search engine. What does that mean? It means that even more people are actively looking for this content. Let's look at the engagement bar. What was the most exciting part? 75% it peaked over here. What happened here? Yeah, it's the fucking Koshitan dance. It was the Koshitan dance. Let's look at the reach. 80k impression, 5.6 click-through rate. That's pretty good for me. Uh, Vobile.net, this gets a little worrisome. If you Google Vobile.net, it's some bullshit copyright. Oh, anyways. Let's look at the audience. More return new viewers, a little bit more. It's, it's not as high as I want it to be, but again, you can see that a lot more tourists are finding my through Nokotam because of the amount of people trying to search for this title, right? And look at the sub to non-sub breakdown. 67.4 to 32.8. It's almost like a two-third ratio, right? That just shows that there's more tourists finding me through this content. The viewing regions, United States, Philippines, Indonesia, Japan, Vietnam. Japan being this high up is actually surprising. And Canada is never fucking present. And yes, of course, 100% male because no girls are watching this bullshit. Next anime. Uh, we've already covered, you know, Yamada and, you know, ASAO. Actually, the reason why SAO, this one actually did really well, right? We had a one-hour premiere of Season 3 content for SAO. And obviously, it's going to do well. Why? Because, you know, I've been blue-balling you guys. I've been edging you for Season 3 content for, like, over a fucking month. And I finally dropped the first episode with that much. The really cool thing is the revenue here. Damn, bro! Look at this revenue. I want you to look at the RPM here. RPM as in revenue for every 1,000 views. I get $4.72 for every 1,000 views. And the reason why this is so significant 
is because let's say let's let's compare, let's compare to this to like you know dangers in my heart i think dangers in my heart revenue right now rpm is around two something right yeah 223 is obviously half like around half of 472 223 isn't bad though it's honestly pretty decent it's just that you know sao it's fucking this is amazing and the reason why this is amazing is correlated with the duration of the video if you look at the engagement the average watch duration for sao this time was 14 minutes and 35 seconds right and the reason why it's that is because it's a fucking one hour video you're comparing a one hour video with a 24 minute video right so obviously we got a little bit more viewership 10 minute versus 15 15 minutes isn't that interesting the more people that watch the video obviously you're, the more people are gonna get served ads therefore the higher the rpm is gonna be but fantastic this is why obviously people want to make long videos right on YouTube, it's not actually about just making eight minute videos just so you can insert mid, uh, ads mid roll. No, no, no. On YouTube, what you want to do is make long fucking videos that people will watch for a long time. And obviously, if you do that, more people get served ads, the more money you make per that video. But just making a video long for the sake of making it long to capitalize on ad revenue, is it might work backwards, right? Because if you just made a video long by just stalling the entire time, people are not going to watch it. And if people don't watch a video that's one hour long for that long, then it's going to get dropped from the algorithm because it's going to get judged that way. You have a fucking one hour video and your average watch duration is like really low because people clicked off the video because they realized that it's just bait. Then that video is just going to fail. Now you've invested your time and energy into making a long video. That's going to flop because you didn't actually give the value that it deserved. So again, it's all about making long videos that people want to watch. But if you're trying to just make it long for the sake of making it long, you're going to flop. Next video um tensura four days ago tensura is back after hiatus and shion did pop off on the upper end of the spectrum fantastic and i'm glad that as you know people are watching tensura despite it being quote-unquote boring this season compared to the previous seasons right too much yapping but i have a core audience that enjoys tensura for what it is so my channel is not suffering from the lack of views, but other channels like Neil Desai, your boy Roshi, I hear that they dropped it because their audience just doesn't give a fuck about it, which is very interesting, right? It's really interesting how everyone has their own different standards of what like underperforming a video is, and their audience determines that. For them, the Tensor videos are underperforming, but for me, it's actually kind of like above expectations because it's like a different type of audience that we've garnered. Something about my personality trait and the way that I give these shows an in-depth analysis and commentary creates an audience of hardcore light novel readers that wants to get more out of an anime reaction. Therefore, they're going to be willing to watch these yapping episodes for a longer time compared to other channels where their community may not be as sweaty in these isekai series, man. If so One question. If someone watches in another speed, this affects the statistics? I don't really think so. I have to do a little bit of research on it. I remember some people telling me that you can just simply open a different tab and watch this shit in like half X speed. Maybe it doubles the watch time or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, if you need to rely on some people doing that shit, you're not, it's not organic growth. But yeah, it did pretty decent. I'm going to just assume that the hype shit was obviously, you know, Xion popping off here. Let's look at the audience charts. Again, little to no new people coming in, which is... Not good, but it's not bad either. You know, as long as we have the returning audience, that's always good. Nice split of 50-50 and 100% dudes. Canada, where the fuck are you, man? Canada is such a fucking... I fucking hate Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm ashamed to be a Canadian, bro. How the fuck is Canada not even shown in this chart, man? What a, what a fucking loser country. Next, we have... Failure Frame! Failure Frame episode was kind of weak but it still does pretty decent right i think the last episode was quite mid and the cgi is getting fucking annoying like i try to play some defense for failure frame in episode one the first half because the cgi wasn't bad they catfished me now i'm starting to realize that they're just it's, it's just the most jarring it is probably the best shitty anime this season right best bad anime I enjoyed the plot and the premise, but the CGI, the animation around it is so fucking garbage. The story isn't even that compelling just yet either. The reason why Kumu Deska, So I'm a Sparta, So What, I praise that show despite the CGI being bad is because the story carried. Failure Frame's story hasn't even developed to the point where I can say that I'm truly into it. I enjoyed the initial premise, but it has yet to cook just yet. Let's look at the recommendations. Yep, all three recommendations, little to no search engine, pretty flatlined, you know, there's no peaks here, meaning there wasn't a single point that really stood out to people. Let's look at the engagement, 8 minute average watch duration, which is, eh, it's decent. Let's look at the audience, 
little to no new viewers because obviously it's just a shitty isekai that my community likes to watch, right? 58.6% subbed, 40% not subbed. Makes sense because it's like an isekai that my audience, you know, wants to watch more. I'm not gonna expect, you know, new tourists to find me through channels like this because I am already like the king of shitty isekais on YouTube reactions, in my opinion. Next, we have... Giji Harem. Let's look at Giji Harem performance for the most recent video. And I have dropped Giji Harem, by the way. I just don't really give a fuck. It's- I'm not the target audience. It's in the lower half, right? It's- it's- It's not even like doing average. It's really in the lower end of it. Giji Harem was okay for episode 1. I'm just... Eh. Eh. I don't know. I'm- I- I- it just feels like there is no plot. And it's fine, right? Because the- the source material, I don't think- You can already see that the source material is a bunch of series of skits, right? I- I'm just not the source- I'm just not the fucking audience for this shit, man. I- I'm cringing by episode 3. I'm like, I just would rather watch another community series. I dropped this shit. It is what it is. Go watch someone else's Giji Harm reaction. But, Days of My Stepsis, though. I'm surprised that Days of My Stepsis is still doing well. Honestly, on the upper end. It's actually doing really well. And why is it doing well? Well, I think the whole point- if I go to the engagement chart, I know where this is gonna peak. Let's go drop down a little lower. Huh. It didn't actually peak as much as I thought it would. I thought there would be a huge fucking spike, right? I'm gonna assume this is the part where, you know, Sister came in and said, you know, will you buy my body, right? There was a viral moment that creates a lot of attention for people to go click on it. So, makes sense why episode 3, people are still watching it. Decent, you know, views. Decent watch time. If we look at the engagement though, 6 minute 20 seconds, right? It's lower. And why is that? Right? Compared to other videos, getting only 8 plus, you know, 10 minute, you know, average duration on series such as, uh, let's say, Dangerous in My Heart. Why is Days of My Stepsis getting less watch time than usual? It's simple. Because people didn't actually give a fuck about the episode. They only cared about one specific scene. So people watched the video, and you can see the engagement chart, how it's below the expected retention. Because people only care about these one specific scenes. That doesn't mean that the video will do bad. In fact, having these vile moments creates more attention for people to come in, so it's not a big deal. But the reason why the watch duration is lower is simple. The rest of the episode, people don't give a fuck about. They just wanted that one part. They just wanted that one part of, you know, the hearse saying, Will you buy my body? Little to no new viewers coming in. 5.3% female ratio though. That is the highest that we've gotten so far, oddly enough. Next up, the Niji Sanji video actually did pretty well. Now, currently, I... There's kind of these, like, three separate categories. There's, like, these, um, three separate categories of horizontal investments that I'm doing. And what I mean by horizontal investment is that I'm picking, like, three separate buckets of content to put water into. Rather than having one bucket, which is known as anime reactions, and putting all my water into there, what I can do is try to, you know, do commentary and reactions around anime-related content. And I know that VTuber isn't anime-specific, but I think that there is a very big overlap of people who watch VTubers and people who watch anime. The same concept with people who play gacha games and people who watch anime. And this is the three buckets, right? We have the main one, anime reactions. That's the focus. Then we have number two, which is VTuber content. And the number three is the gacha. That is the priority of things that I kind of handle. Anything anime related, of course, is priority. And then it's VTuber and then it's gacha. And if we look at this chart here, it's actually exceeding expectations, right? It's in the upper end of this range. 1.7 to 3.2k typical in this period, and we're near 3.2k. This is a pretty spicy news because any, you know, drama surrounding Niji Sanji, people want to hear about that shit. It's also very volatile. Let's look at it. There's no specific segment where it really peaked. Let's look at the reach. Actually, let's look at this. 12 subscribers. Isn't that crazy? We got 12 new subscribers off of this video that has nothing to do about anime, but VTuber content. But the people that watched this thought that my commentary was interesting enough and subbed to it. Now, I hope they subbed to it, realizing that my channel is mainly anime reactions. Hopefully, they're not expecting just more VTuber content. But looking at the comments and other stuff, my existing anime reaction audience is even commenting stuff like, Finally, you're covering VTuber drama. This is actually good. And I'm like, huh. There is a decent interest around it. Let's look at the reach. Reach as in how people find it. A decent proportion of people actually found it through the search engine. Nearly 6-17%, but obviously the bulk of the viewership is from 60% of browse features. 
let's yeah and if you look at the you know the search terms people are you know googling or searching niji sanji anime expo mujin reaction anime reaction yep that's how we get find there let's look at the audience good look at this compare to the other videos of new viewers to returning viewer ratio look at this this is significant right any other anime reaction when you look at the returning versus new viewers there's literally no new viewers but this vtuber drama video i branched out to a separate community this is always good to do now you need to do it in a focused manner you can't just always try to do this shit because if you do this and you only try to do this you're going to lose sense of what your community is because you're chasing tourists but while you've consolidated you know community members through those you know, anime reactions and all the other stuff that they're expecting. You can experiment with different topics. And once you do that, then you get exposed to a wider audience that may tune in and, you know, they're going to start watching your content, hopefully. A cra and again, look at this shit. Nearly 74% not sub. All the ratio of not sub to sub has been roughly 50-50 the entire time. But finally, we're getting a pretty big split. 1.2% female. Age range expected. A lot of people, you know, from United States, Philippines, Indonesia. Honestly, D3 regions are the bulk of my viewership through the anime reactions as well. So no surprises there. Let's look at the revenue. Eh, not very good. Not very good. 1.42. Remember the RPM for SAO ep episode 1, season 3? That shit got like 4 something, right? 142. Not very good. And why could that be the case? Hmm... The average watch duration is not even that bad. I think it's as simple as there's more people, right? RPM is determined by the demographic of the audience. And because Philippines and Indonesia, Malaysia and Vietnam, their currency is not as strong as the United States, they're going to be served ads at a much lower, you know, monetary cost. Therefore, I'm going to be making lower money. So while yes, you guys are popping off in the chat saying PH represent an Indo gang, I appreciate you. I just wish that your currency was stronger so I could milk more advertisement money off of you guys. But it is what it is. Next video. Let's look at it. Perry. Perry is actually doing still well. I am very happy about the performance of Perry anime. I thought that animes like this would be stuck in the lower end of the, you know, the chart. But it's actually doing pretty well. Let's look at it. Is there a... The bulk of the viewership comes from recommendations, of course. Little to nothing from search engine. The engagement is very high, huh? Look at this, man. The engagement chart is above the gray line. And the gray line is a typical expected range of people watching this. And if you're above it, it means you're doing better than usual. Because my audience can resonate with, you know... This isn't an isekai. But it is isekai-esque in the sense that it's a native isekai fantasy show, you know? You got different it's like it's almost like an rpg you got the people with different classes and skills and attacks and you know stuff like that fantasy shit right native isekai shit let's look at what other things can we look at yep search engine they're finding me through by the way just because i don't include the title the episode name sorry the anime name and the episode number in the title doesn't mean that people can't find me because if you were smart Everybody complaining about lack of title don't even realize that in the description, the fucking episode, you know, title and the anime title is already there. It's always the fucking monkeys that are so quick to, you know, complain without even doing their due diligence to complain about this shit. And it's always the same monkeys saying that if you can't do this, you don't get through fine through the search engine. But it's like, no, I've simply just proven to you through this right over here that people do search through the fucking title and I do get found through the YouTube search engine. Let's look at the engagement. 10 minute almost, you know, average watch duration, which is fantastic. Let's look at the audience tab and little to no new viewers at all. Damn, bro. I'm just tapped out, huh? I mean, it makes sense, right? This is our, this is our like bread and butter. This is our core content. Isekai and native Isekai. Shit like this, my audience eats that shit up. But I also have a hard time reaching out to a wider audience. But it's fine, because the purpose of these videos is to hit the community and get the returning viewers from coming back in. Nice 50-50 split, no girls watching. And again, the Philippines. Oh, and India made it up this time. Indonesia, Malaysia. Next up, what do we got? Uh, the Changli, yeah. You know, this is gacha content. Yeah, we could check this out. Let's look at the Changli trailer. Right, again, what did I tell you about the three buckets of horizontal investments I'm doing? The most important portfolio is anime reactions and anime-related content. Then it's VTubing. Then it's gacha. 
most of the gotcha content that I'll be covering is drip marketing through the, you know, Hoyoverse content or Kuro Games, you know, Wuthering Waves content. And it does decent. And I guarantee you that the chart analytics for this is going to be significantly different. You can already tell from the right hand side here, looking at the real time viewership for the last 48 hours, that a lot of the views come from the YouTube search engine rather than recommendations. I'm going to bet that this has more new viewers coming in, maybe, than, you know, compared to other anime reactions. I'm going to bet that there's more non subscribers compared to the regular subs. Let's look at this shit. And viewers found me mostly through, well, 31.2% found me through YouTube search engine. So this is quite significant. It's almost like a, almost 50-50, right? 47.3% obviously it's higher through recommendations. It's always going to be higher through recommendations, but the search engine is pretty high, meaning that a lot of tourists have found me, right? Let's look at this. Engagement. Uh, let's look at the audience tab. And yes, look at that shit, right? Compared to other content, this has way more way more new viewers coming in. That's always good. You're trying to tap into a wider audience and try to make them into, you know, your community members. And if you look at it exactly, nearly 80 to 20% split of not sub to sub. So exactly what I, you know, assumed. What did I say? I said that gotcha content like this and because that people were, you know, finding my videos through the search engine, it means that it's a new audience. Tourists. And if you have tourists coming in, obviously they're not going to be subbed and they're going to be completely new. And your goal is to try to convert those members into regular community members, but it's really hard to, right? It is really hard. I know that there is an overlap with people that play Wuthering Waves and anime, and anime Watchers, but of these, you know, of like, let's say 1,500, like, let's say, I don't know, 247 people finding me through this video, I bet maybe like less than 20 people are going to be sticking around for the anime content, but that's fine. Your goal is to try to, you know, tap into a wider audience and try to convert them over and over. Next, what do we have? These are more, you know, just Roshidari farms. Anything with Roshidari content, you know, is always going to do well. Other news, dangers in my heart, always doing well. And finally, we got Roshidere. My favorite day of the week. Do you guys know what my favorite day of the week is this month and next month and the month after that? Hold on, let me change the um, headsets. Can anyone guess what my favorite day is? Thursday? Why would you guess Thursday? Wednesday? Why would you guess Wednesday? Why is everybody saying Wednesday? Why is everybody saying Wednesday? Can anyone in class break down their idea? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's got loud. One second. Roshi did it day? That's right, it's just that simple. You'll notice that every, let's look at the content, let's look at the um, actual, you know, viewership here. You'll notice that, let's zoom in through the last, you know, 28 days, right? You'll notice that it's always like Wednesday where viewers starts to go up, right? Because Roshi did drops and views go up. And then over here, Wednesday, views go up, right? And then like Wednesday, views go up, right? <laughs> It's because <laughs> Roshidere, Roshidere is just such a hard hitter that it just makes my analytics fluctuate so fucking hard. Cause like I have confidence that every, you know, every Roshidere video will hit for like minimum 10k recently. The second episode was an anomaly. It's actually going for 30k right now. If you look at my channel, if you look at my channel right now, right? And you look at the most popular videos. It's actually fucking crazy. 35,000, it's still climbing. It's crazy. It's still fucking climbing. And the craziest thing is that it's not an opening or a trailer, right? Nokotan trailers <clears throat> and Mash Season 2 opening. I got bailed, right? These are tourists coming in looking for easy content, but this is long form content. This is a 30 minute, 35 second video of a specific anime episode reaction. And while there is a lot of tourists coming in, there's also an even greater returning audience coming in. High School DXT, this is a gimmick. Honestly, High School DXT, this shit's a literal gimmick because like fucking, you know, the Coomer people, right? It's just degeneracy, you know, oh my God, it's High School DXT. I want to I wanna check it out, right? It's, it's just the virality of that. But Roshidere, just again, episode 2 keeps going up, and I should never expect Roshidere to always hit 30k. This was an anomaly, right? 
the reason that it hit a 35k is because of a specific moment where my mind broke and people wanted to watch that reaction, right? With the Yuki plot twist. I can't expect that for every video. But the fact that Roshidere is still hitting for like 10k plus, like look at this shit. What is the typical range here? The typical range right now is from 1.2k to 1.8k. Yet this shit is 10xing plus, bro. 12,000. 6.7 times higher. And the most interesting thing is, look at the breakdown of the viewership. Where the fuck is a YouTube search engine? The search engine is nowhere to be found. Every part of the viewership, the significant portion is from browse feature, the recommendations of the homepage, the suggested videos, channel pages, meaning people finding me through my actual YouTube channel. And only 164 views from the search engine, yet I'm still able to get views like this. It's just crazy what a big show this is for a community effort. 41 subs, bro. 41 fucking subs, man. 23, almost $24 being made out of this video. Let's look at the revenue, actually. Again, it's not as good RPM as, let's say, SAO Season 3 Episode 1. $2.12 is... It's all right, right? Let's look at the engagement. Was there any specific part that it really hyped up? Yes. This is very volatile. So these are specific moments. Let's see what people were really hyped for. Come on. What do I say here? Why do people like this part? Hmm? Friends still lovers? Oh, okay, it was the revelation of, you know, Masha, you know, with Sakun, the pendant thing. It's basically that. And then what else was over here? This is probably Masatsuka and Masha moment, right? Yes. So there's always like these specific moments. In fact, a graph. Sorry. A graph that looks like this is actually better than a graph that is flatlined. Because the more peaks it has, the more people are coming back to watch that specific part. The more attention it gets, the more it gets recommended. So even like the retention is important for sure. But having peaks like this is better than just having a flatline graph. Let's look at the audience. And look at this shit, right? Look how there's like little to no new viewers coming in. All returning viewers, a significant amount of returning viewers. Everybody from my community that's watched me from a long time ago loves this shit. And that's why it's getting such, such a huge, you know, viewership. And while you may see that there's 67, you know, 7% of not subscribed, just because they're not subscribed, doesn't mean that they're not returning viewers. Returning viewers simply means that both subbed and non-subs, they've seen my content at least once before and they're coming back to watch it. 1% female. <laughs> Interesting split here. Philippines though, more than United States. Philippines more than United States. And suddenly it's making sense why the revenue here is so fucking low. Even though it got so much watch time and views. You know why? <laughs> Because, you know, the currency is weak. It is what it is. Just one second. Bathroom break. I'm bad. I'm back. Do not be sorry, my Filipino friends. It's not your fault. It's your government's fault. Don't worry about it. Now. Let's see. Oshinoko, yes. Let's talk about Oshinoko. Uh-oh. Honestly, that's actually better than expected. Huh. I didn't actually expect this. I thought that Oshinoko would be kind of like middle of the pack, if not leaning towards the bottom. But oh, honestly, yeah, I joke around with Oshino mid, right? The only reason I joke around with Oshino mid is because we're not comparing Oshinoko with the other animes airing right now. The performance is fine. 
I'm just comparing Oshinoko with the Season 1 numbers, right? But it's obvious that people got filtered out. Let's look at the break part, breakdown of how people found this video. Mostly through the recommendations and a pretty flat line graph. And the later tail half obviously being the... What's it called? You know, Abiko Sensei call out, right? That was the most exciting part. Let's look at the audience tab and no new viewers. But it's fine. It's a community series, like 50-50 split, just like these other community series. Revenue? Ooh, not good. Like, if you can't even break $2 RPM, that's pretty bad. Like, did you know, like, a good RPM? Like, like people in, like, let's, like, I think Tectone said it. I think that Tectone's RPM averages around 4 to $5 for his gacha content. And I know that a lot of cooking and finance channels, they get even more. They get, like, double digits of RPM. Like, getting a lot of views isn't the only way to make money on YouTube. It's all about the target demographic and how long did they watch for. Right? Oshinoko, it's doing all right. It's just doing okay. Next up, what do we got? Isekai Shikaku. Oh, yes. My... Of all the isekais, probably my favorite isekai right now. This season. Oh my goodness, bro. 78% up. Oh my goodness. Typical period, 1.3k to 2.6. This shit hitting for 4.6, man. 10 subs? Oh yes, baby. Let's look at the retention. Yeah, this, this must be the auto part, right? If we look at the most engaged part, 100%, yep, this is the auto part, right? Auto playing the soundtrack, you know, that was like the funniest part. It's a very unique isekai for sure. It's definitely different from anything that I've seen. Most different browse features regarding the viewership. And little to no returning viewers. That's fine. It's expected. It's a community series, right? It's a community series. It's an isekai. It's what my audience wants. The girls love this show? Well, no girls are watching me for this show. <laughs> I'm sorry. The suicide riz is not real. While Sensei may have suicide riz in the anime episode, you know, in real life, it is not real. A lot of people from the United States watching, Philippines, Indonesia, India, yep, this looks like the regular, you know, demographic for my audience. Next up, what do we have? Tower of God news, Rama. Actually, this Rama trailer is interesting, right? The Rama trailer is interesting because this is like a new, I think this had a lot of tours coming in, hopefully. Let's look at it. The viewership is actually pretty decent. Was there any part that really spiked? Not really. Let's look at the reach of how people found it. Mostly from browse features, not through YouTube search engine, really. And nobody even searched up Rama in the YouTube search engine to find the video. In fact, for whatever reason, solo leveling got a higher hit than actually Rama reaction. Let's look at the audience tab. Good. This is what I was looking for, right? You got significantly higher new viewers coming in compared to returning viewers. What does that mean? It means that this video was intended to reach out to a wider audience, right? I don't think my, my... Obviously, there's more returning viewers, but if you compare it to the relative charts before, there's more new viewers because this topic, I think, would have hit a wider audience, and it did. It's actually a pretty decent 50-50 split. The trailer did why? I mean, this wasn't even trailer. This was just like a Rama... What's it called? You know? Review video, right? Next up, what do we got? Honestly, this one did okay. This is another example of a series that I'm trying to, like, let's say... Like, like I'm trying to figure out more, again, unedited, just straight off, just me improv Just like right now, where I just record and I just upload right after, right? It did pretty decent. The topic was interesting, right? What was the topic? It was, you know, Gigak and the anime and talk about JJK and Boch the Rock. It was actually a very fun watch for me anyways. The audience, let's look at it. No new returning viewers, which is kind of disappointing. Sorry, new viewers, not returning viewers. It's fine, though. Next up, what do we have? SAO. I thought that Mother's Rosario finale would have done better than this. It underperformed. But it is a sad episode. Not everyone wants to watch the sad shit, you know? Kind of makes sense. That's like an L overall, but it's expected. I kind of held the SAO audience hostage for over a month then i started uploading again we have an influx of new people coming in makes sense why it would do bad but at least season three is you know keeping close we've already talked about dangers in my heart every dangers in my heart does perfectly fine this video actually did amazing reacting to every studio explained in 17 minutes and there is a part two that we'll get onto it later on let's look at this guy god damn 
for whatever reason, this shit hits 2.5x regular viewership. And why is that? I didn't think that this topic would have been... I, I didn't think that people would have watched this video because it, it is an anime adjacent topic. We're talking about the industry, but I didn't think that people actually gave a fuck about videos like this. But again, we're just experimenting and trying out and it did well. Let's see where the bulk of the viewership came from. Mostly from the YouTube recommendations, right? Little to know from YouTube search. And it makes sense. Who's searching for this topic right now? Well, recommendations, it's going to make sense because a lot of people are obviously going to be recommended this video based on their common interest with anime. Let's look at the audience. It is not... While it may not seem significant relative to other charts, you know, new viewers, this is pretty decent. We got new viewers coming in because of this video. 11 people sub to this. And then we got, you know, a nice 67.5 to 32.5 split here. 0.5% females and the typical breakdown. I'm glad that I tried this video. We're definitely going to check out at part two of this series as well. Um, <laughs> and this is the, you know, performance review. <laughs> now, this is so meta. We're going to be doing a performance review on a performance review video. <laughs> and it did well. It says 44 minutes of me rambling about my own analytics and reasoning with logic of why this is the way it is. And it got, you know, in the upper end of the viewership, right? 2.8k is the typical upper range of this. 21 people sub. I think a lot of people do value educational content like this. At least for me anyways, whenever I watch content creators like Ludwig, for example, or Disguised Toast. Whenever, before I started doing content creation, they would talk about their analytics and what it's really like to be realistically making money off of YouTube and stuff like that. Those things were always fascinating. And I'm sure you guys find, you know, this kind of content also fascinating the same way because it's just like, you know, behind the scenes of what's going on that not many people really talk about. While the engagement is definitely very low <clears throat> compared to the typical, you know, engagements, it's still fine because all that matters is the watch time and the views, right? And these two are hitting above expectations and yeah this video is definitely not you know targeted to hit a wider audience this video is definitely not targeted for tourists this video is specifically uh just like more uh, community kind of content for the existing audience next up this genshin video actually did pretty decent so, remember the horizontal investments I'm talking about? We got the anime reactions, we have the VTuber news, but there's also gacha. And there is a lot of, you know, noise being made for gacha content, especially because right now there's like a whole debacle of is Hoyoverse racist because they only cater towards a light-skinned waifus and demographics in regions where it's based off of, you know, more, you know, darker-skinned audiences. That was a very controversial topic. Obviously, people are going to be clicking on it. Majority of the audience from the YouTube recommendations. Is there any significant part that really popped off? Not really. Let's look at the audience. Boom. This is what I'm talking about. A video targeted for a wider audience of tourists to come in. But even if you can tap into that, it's kind of pointless if you can't uh, convert them into any reaction people. And that's something that I can never really like get a grasp on unless I individually like ask people. That's too hard, right? It's like, how can you really tell that these new people coming in are still watching your content? You can't really, but I still do have to try, right? If you always try to only make videos for returning viewers, eventually that pool of people, you're going to exhaust it, right? You only have so many pieces of that, you know, pie. You need to try to think about making that pie bigger. And to do that, you need to, you know, try to do more touristy stuff like this. Next up, we have the tier list videos. The tier list videos are pretty solid. Again, this is not for tourists. This is for community members. Let's look at it. Decent average right in the middle of the pack of the expected range. The subs, pretty decent. Is there a part that really stood out amongst others? No, it's just kind of all over the place. Let's look at the audience and yeah. Look at that. A little too no returning viewers, but that's fine. That was the intention. This video still does well, huh? It's been a while since I've covered Tensura Annie News content. Tensura Annie News content always does well, especially the lore videos. I don't know about the cut content or episode stuff. Recently, there's been like no Annie News cut content for Tensura News, I guess, because there's like literally nothing to talk about because they're just yapping so much in the anime episode anyways, but 
there's always a lot of people that enjoys, you know, Tensura lore and stuff like that. Oddly enough, the highest peak came at this part with Dino and, you know, the Fallen Angel stuff, right? Probably the most exciting part. Let's look at the audience tab. Actually, a decent amount of new people coming in throughout this later half. And if you look at this graph, look at how initially it got boom bumped up, then it fell down. But there's two separate parts where the algorithm decided to send to a new wider audience. Sometimes, and if we look at the reach, yeah. See how the impressions go out, then it plateaus. Then here, this section, it starts to get a higher slope once more. Sometimes the algorithm will try to push the video out to a wider audience when the video is kind of dying off to just kind of test it. More unsubbed and not and subbed in the typical demographic here. SEO, dangers, dangers. And I think this is the cutoff right over here, right? So I think that, like, let's look at the final Osan Newbie Adventure one. That should be, like, the cutoff. Boom. And these two, actually. Actually, we can check out the dangers in my heart as well, too. So, Osan Newbie Adventure last week, Monday, right? Not this week. It's pretty decent. Again, just middle of the pack. If you look at the audience, as expected of a community series. If you look at this topic, this was the Tower of God just content that I'm just trying to farm, right? Eh, there's a little burst of new viewers coming in, but that's fine. And finally, this is the Dangers in My Heart Episode 1. Episode 1 of any series I expect to do pretty well. I, ex I hope that Dangers in My Heart actually would perform better than this for Episode 1. I thought that it would do... I don't know. I, I was hoping for 10k. Maybe I'm asking too much. I was just going to based off of numbers off of, you know, Roche today. You know, if Roche today is hitting numbers like 30k, then maybe 10k isn't too hard to ask for. Seemingly, it's because it's like a rom-com, you know, audience, but it's all right. It still did above expectations, right? It still did above expectations. Most of it's from recommendations and the audience is obviously going to be, yes, just returning audience. And this, what does this mean? Well, I thought that maybe new people would come in because it's rom-com content we're covering, but in fact, a lot of people have the misunderstanding that my channel is a bunch of, you know, isekai audience and stuff, and power fantasy, and that is, it seems like it, right? It does seem like it. But the, re if you look at my old videos, there's actually a lot of variety content. There's a lot of different, you know, rom-coms that we also watched before too, believe it or not, right? Let's see. So many fucking random videos. But Rom-Com and Isekai, these are these genres that I used to farm every season just because they happen to be airing without realizing what I was really doing to my algorithm. And this kind of depicts that, right? Because there's no new viewers coming in, these are all existing audience members that, you know, used to watch me. And, you know, with Roche today, stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. Another week's worth of performance review. Hopefully this logic of where the viewers are coming from, why videos are performing like this can give you a better insight into the YouTube analytics and maybe you too can apply that to your own game. See you next week.